Welcome back to NC Bassin. Today, I'm on Lake Norman. Skipped a Tuesday tournament this morning. I'm gonna try to fish in the afternoon. It's like two o'clock now. The bite in the, in the fall is usually better in the afternoon, but it could be tough conditions today. There's not a cloud in the sky. Little to no wind. It's like three miles per hour now, but it's supposed to get calm as the day goes on. But it is fall, so the bite should pick up as the day goes on. It is a warming trend too. We had a big cold front come through last weekend, but today I'm gonna to try to show you guys how to fish bridges, how I fish bridges. One of my favorite ways to catch fish, especially during the transition time. I mean, really all year you can catch fish on bridges. I mean, it's one of my favorite ways to catch them because you can run spot to spot and you can get a pattern where they're at. Sometimes they're on the pilings. Most of the time they're on the corners. And the biggest thing about bridges is a pinch point in the main river channel or the main creek channel if it's in the creek. But it can if fish can load up there. The fish that are traveling through there stop there. They don't stay there very long. But current is the main thing that causes me to fish bridges. You need current or wind. Wind causes current. And that makes these fish stack up on there just like it's a river. They usually sit on the back side of the current. Sometimes when there's no current like today, they're on the front side. They're usually on the points. You got four points or corners, whatever you want to call them. The corners are usually where the fish are at. You got riprap banks down the sides of them. They can be on that a lot. That's usually not the best spots, but sometimes they're on that. And not, but the, usually the corners are the best in the first set of pilings. But sometimes they're out in the middle of on the middle pilings. I don't fish much, but I'm gonna try to go through how I fish the bridges. Hopefully I can, I picked a bad day to try to do this video because I usually want it cloudy and windy when they're on bridges, or at least the water's high and there's a lot of current. I don't think we have eat, none of that today. I heard it was tough this morning in the Tuesday tournament, but somebody caught a 6.78 giant bass. So there's some big fish moving up, which 6.78 is the biggest fish I've ever heard of caught on Tuesday tournament. That is a giant. That gives me hope that there's some giants out here that actually bite in the daytime, so at nighttime. I mean, that's almost a seven pound bass. He would have won the whole tournament with just that fish. Might be a lot of finesse fishing today because there's no wind or current, so I might have to pull out the drop shot, which is a great way to catch them on the, on the bridges and also the swim bait, little finesse swim bait. Hopefully I'll help you guys figure out how to fish bridges, and maybe some of you guys that never fish bridges will give it a try. Hopefully they're biting, we'll see how it goes. There we go. He's on the pilings. That is super loose. It's not giant, but I came up school one a minute ago. This is the oh no, not my worm. I was on the it's still floating at least. It's on the right bait synth right there. That's a close to a keeper. You can catch a lot of fish this size doing that. The first two sets of pilings are the best, and the ones that touch the creek channel are good too. Fish caught school one a minute ago. He's probably a keeper, but his tail's all messed up. One bad thing about this is I usually don't catch a big one doing this. I mean, there's big fish on the bridges, but you have a better chance throwing a, a flutter spoon or something a little bit bigger, a big swim bait than a drop shot. But it, occasionally you'll catch like a two and a half pound spot and it's won me tournaments, Ned rig and drop shot right here on this bridge on the pilings. But the bigger ones are usually on the corners for me almost all the time. But there's just no current right now. It's making it tough, but there's one in the shade. Oh man, it's got some pull. I see my line just stop. Yeah, I know it ain't hitting the bottom when it's 45 foot out here. It'll take a while if it did. That's why you fish bridges, guys. Decent little spot. It was about 20 foot down, probably. That's one thing about drop shots I hate is netting them because, oh, he's puking up. Crawfish, it looks like. Man, that's digested shad. Same size, it's a little fatter. They're on the front side instead of the back side where the current's coming in. There's literally no wind. So there'd be a south wind if we have any wind. It's just one mile per hour. And there's, as you guys can see, there's no wind. My 14 and a half, we'll let him go. He's fat though. That's a good one. I knew there was a good dock bike going on today, guys. I had to give up on the bridge for a minute because it's so sunny. There's got to be some fish on these docks. On the minimum jig. Oh, and he 
two and a half pound spot jumped off, man. You're not supposed to lose them on the jig. That's on the tungsten jig right there, guys. Hand tied tungsten. Man, that was a big spot. Well, I'm fishing bridges, but I got to hit some docks, make sure I'm not missing out on this good dock bite. I mean, that's the second dock I fished, and it is one of my favorite docks, but it had a nice spot on it already. With the tantrum trailer, small compact jig, but it's a half ounce. shot fish shady dock I know this is nowhere near a, a bridge but I had to keep the docks honest guys I could probably catch more on docks right now I mean every fish I've caught so far has been a keeper he's pushing a keeper nah he's probably 13 and a half nah he's probably 14 he's a keeper too skin hooking got some gamagatsus now but I still got that fusion hook on there it's not bad just gotta bend it out a little bit. It's a little mosquito hook. You gotta take it real easy. Good tip with a drop shot, guys, is don't make long casts. I mean, the most frustrating part about a drop shot, especially around rocks, is is getting hung up and having to retie a whole rig. And try. Sometimes you just lose the weight, which ain't as bad. But a lot of times you use the whole rig, and you need braid for sure. Like that second fish I had, you guys seen? I, I could see my white braid line stop. And I know I had a fish. You need high vis line or at least some kind of braid. On that right bait synth, this is a small little worm. Not not a way to catch big giant fish and probably one of my least favorite ways to fish. But if you fish more vertical, you'll lose a lot less rigs instead of making long cast. Just get it near, not near too much cover, but close to it. And the shade, I mean, when it's real sunny like this, this is the biggest dock with the most shade. That's why I had to stop here. Decent little fish. I mean, we got three keepers and lost a good one on the jig. If it's a tournament, I'd be throwing a jig and probably only got that one bite, but that'd been a good fish to land. These are not quality fish, but they're keepers right now. A lot of times you'll catch just 10 inch small spots, but drop shot will flat out catch them. If you just want to catch fish, shaky head or drop shot, Ned rig. I mean, especially when these fish are suspended like they are now, a drop shot's kind of hard to beat for anything. down there you just gotta get way in the shade oh he's pulling me into the there we go got him out no followers which is surprising he's not a keeper he's small he's probably 12 inches still just skin hooking him a wacky rig will work but it don't get down fast enough i got quarter ounce drop shot weight got about a 14 inch leader and this is a skinny, small guy, but same spot as the last one. They're schooled up down there in the shade. Are you kidding me? Had my rod hanging off, about lost it. He's tiny. Oh my gosh, do not leave a drop shot hanging off the side of the boat, guys. Had to make a cast with a jig way back in that shade. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but literally had that much line out. He pulled some drag out less than that, and he just come up and took it. <sighs> I'm telling you, these fish are suspended. Four foot of line just hanging off the side of the boat like an idiot. If he'd have lost my rod, I'd have been devastated. This is my new, the most money I've spent on a rod, 130 bucks with a $80 reel. That Falcon Low Rider, I'm really liking it. It has excellent feel that Iowa XLR the 3000 size he's a tiny one but man he about took my rod that was crazy fish feels like a high rig it's hard to tell on drop shot they all feel big Finally, something on this Buffalo Shoals bridge that actually has current. Big old spot. Probably two pounds. Nah, he ain't that big. They fight hard on drop shot.
Biggest fish I've landed today. Spinning my line up. Popped it off a little hang up down there and got this guy. Actually, there's some more fish down there. There's actually current on this Buffalo Shoals bridge. He's close to two pounds. I mean, he's a he's a good one. Drop shot in the bridge pilings. I mean, it's a tactic that works. Probably not the funnest way to fish, but it will certainly catch them. And they fight hard on a little spinning rod. I grab my worm real quick. Oh, wow, biggin. Yanked him out of the water, he bit at the boat. Got him that time. He's coming up. Oh, little largemouth. Can't believe he took my worm. A two in a row take my worm after catching. Right under the bridge, marked him on the back graph. Looking back at it and seeing him. Elite Seven's a lot better than my front graph, but of course when it's not a tournament, my front graph's actually working today. It's been having a lot of issues. Fish is cold. Water temperature 67.5 back here. Little largemouth in the mud. I'm only throwing a drop shot in the mud, but right under the bridge in the deepest spot. Well, they're usually on the pilings, but sometimes they're just right in the middle. You gotta see your graph. I'm not seeing bait back here like I usually do, but they're probably back here in this current. Yep, then had the camera going guys right back down there another large mouth I'm glad you didn't see it because I thought he was good size at first <laughs> We'll just skin hooked him It's a bad thing about flipping him in on the drop shot. He's got a broken jaw Look at that That's from a cold tag right there guys poor guy Look you can tell where he's been caught too Somebody had a non puncture cold tag, but broke his jaw or, or dropped him one. He's got a broken bottom jaw Poor guy probably ain't gonna make it but there's a little large mouth they're, they're grouped up maybe lost two worms and then caught two well guys midday update slash near the end of the day update i fish four bridges the bridges are producing except for this one near the island the windmire bridge or whatever it is but there's fish on this too the bridges always have fish and they're producing i'm just it's not my favorite way to fish with a drop shot i'd rather it be if we had wind and clouds i'd catch them on the crankbait you guys know i love throwing the crankbait on bridges but Swimbait works good too, but drop shot on the pilings, you can't beat it. They'll, that, you always catch fish doing that. There's a ton of bridges on Lake Norman, so you can take your pick. I mean, there's a bridges I like better have the, are more of a funnel. I mean, if they have a long rip wrap sides, like with the 150 bridge, the more funnel they make, the better they are. I mean, sometimes in the spring and fall, the backs, the bridges at the backs of the creeks, like the one at Skipper's, can produce really good too. But only got about an hour and 15 minutes till dark. I still got three more bridges I want to fish, so I'm gonna try to fish fast. Hopefully we can make them bite. I'm probably gonna stay and fish dark too. I mean, the fish are biting okay. This time of year, guys, the fish bite better in the afternoon anyways. Better, the first hour in the morning's awesome, but the mid morning is usually really tough. I mean, the fish wait till it warms up. They wanna feed right before dark. And of course on this lake, the big ones really bite after dark. At least that's what they say. But I'm gonna see if I can't catch one after the, after dark too. But Last bridge of the day, gotta make it happen here. fish on I, as soon as i oh and i lost him man no he's still on there he's just tiny i swear he come off and another one bit it but who knows no he's just tiny couldn't even feel him he's so small first cast on the stumpy bridge i'm pretty happy cornelius creek whatever you want to call it perth road did not get a bite at skippers only a tiny bit of shad back there and they're way back in the back not near the bridge There's always a fish on this light. There we go. Finally, I was just saying. It's been at least an hour after dark and I haven't got a bite yet, guys. There's one. He bit it swimming, so I might go to a chatterbait. The minima jig. He bit it when I was reeling it in. He's not big at all, but finally got one after dark. There we go. Finally. Not big at all. On the minima jig. <sighs> Finally something. His mouth's all messed up. I don't know if I done that. Maybe I did. Finally something. 
fish. Finally. I was scooting when this one bit. On the chatterbait. Something. Just about to give up. Man, that's a solid one. Hey. It might be two pounds. I mean, just elite chatterbait. Finally, something, guys. He's close to two pounds. I'll take him. He's not big. But... Well, guys, it's getting dark. I'm going to stay a few more hours, but I tried to make a bridge fishing video. I probably picked the worst day to do it. I mean, I really want to go to docks when it was sunny and there's no wind, no current. It's a tough day to fish bridges, but I mean, uh, hopefully I showed that you can catch some fish on bridges. Maybe help somebody catch some. If you guys have any questions about catching fish off bridges, just ask me in the comments. Drop shot is not the funnest way to fish, but I had to do it today because there's no current, no wind. I'd much rather made a bridge video, catch them on crankbaits and jerk baits, or at least some kind of moving bait, spinner bait, something. You guys will probably see me fish a lot more bridges as fall goes on. These fish start transitioning a lot, and they'll, they'll move up on bridges, especially when there's current. But thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.